Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Here's everything new for the past 24 hours. This will feature a lot of spoilers for season three storyline, the uh, upcoming season itself, and our speculations based on leaks as far as what's gonna be happening during the season three live event. So a spoiler warning. Hopping directly into it, a new encrypted emote was just spawned last night called the Meteor, and everyone speculates it's probably going to be, well, this, but honestly, it could be absolutely anything. All we have is this icon, and quite frankly, this icon could mean, well, numerous things. So what do you guys think down below? Let us know. With that being said, here's some more information as far as the NBA uh, anime skins. Not quite sure why they're anime based, but there's two skins, 10 Lego styles, reactive back blings, uh, pickaxe and emote. Release date is currently set for April 29th. The skin costs 1200 V-Bucks each, and both will have the bundles with the rest of the set for 2400 V-Bucks. I'm honestly kind of confused why it says only two skins when there's definitely a lot of different characters right here. So I don't know, man, who knows? Maybe that's a mix up, but who knows? Getting to the best part of the video, we're talking all about season three, the upcoming event and so much more. So Fortnite is now playtesting 30.10, the first update of chapter 5 of season 3. Given the schedule on the roadmap, this might include the Metallica content for Battle Royale. So that's pretty crazy, we already know about all this stuff thanks to the roadmap leak, and it's gonna get pretty crazy, so let's get into it. I doubt we'll get them in the next update since it's already been so stacked. So I'm kinda sad that 6 skins like this did not make it inside the game. Season 2's theme was the perfect opportunity for them, and I'm also very surprised we did not see these. I'm almost positive these were also based on Greek mythology gods. I don't know specifically which ones, but I do remember a little while ago people talking about these. Um, so yeah, maybe next update? I don't know man, but that's over on Tuesday and it's supposed to feature only the Star Wars update, so I would say probably unlikely. Don't forget that hijacking is coming during Season 3, which is going to be a massive hint towards the upcoming event. Now, Hypex also notes that Season 3 is an apocalyptic theme featuring Mad Max type of season, and of course, that Mad Max thing is a massive teaser as well. We could definitely note that right here over on the roadmap, we see, well, an apocalyptic Mad Max-esque looking image. And this is going to be a massive hint as far as what's going to be happening during the Season 2 live event to take us into Season 3 and so much more. So now let's get into the actual live event. So I tweet this out. Season 3 being an apocalyptic theme has got me thinking we're headed for something crazy. Imagine a nuke goes off and then season 3 begins shortly after. Now as fun as that would be and as cool as that would be, it's very unlikely and here's why. So someone pointed out that nah, Zeus's hourglass will get destroyed and then sand will flood the island with it. And that is a major hint and he's actually pretty spot on. Someone also notes that I'm now thinking about the hourglass breaking and the entire map will get filled with sand at the start of season 3, with only a few points of interest showing up and then the sand will wash away as we progress through this season. Just like in chapter 2 season 3, this is the perfect opportunity to bring back sand tunneling. And I would say he is 100% spot on, but I would say that the time frame is a little off. Yes, that stuff is going to be happening, but I do think we'll be seeing the first look at this uh, probably at the end of the season. So essentially, the season two love event will give us this massive buildup where this hourglass will appear inside the game. And obviously, if we do get a love event, we will probably be seeing something very similar to what he explained. The all out war with Zeus will go crazy. It will actually break the hourglass. And of course, all that sand will fill the fort and island. Whether or not that's going to be an actual love event, a cut scene, or yes, a, essentially the cinematic trailer for season three, we don't exactly know. But that is essentially essentially the major thing right now and that's really what we think is gonna be happening now just a quick backstory on the hourglass it says sometimes with the addition of a metaphorical wings it's often used as a symbol that human existence is fleeting and that the sands of time will run out for every human life so just symbolization as far as you know the war is going on people are probably gonna be dying and stuff like that so yeah the downfall of Zeus will be the downfall of Ford and Island but of course during the apocalyptic era with Mad Max's collaboration Metallica and all that stuff we will still prevail Human's existence always tends to survive in some way, and obviously that is the inspiration for most shows. The Fallout TV show, the Fallout franchise, and numerous other post-war or post-apocalyptic movies. So we are a very hard species to kill off. We seem to always survive and prevail. But yeah, that's the current speculation for Season 3 as far as like, you know, the love event and what to expect. So let me know what you guys think down below. It's going to be an absolute banger, I must say, and I'm looking forward to it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow.